Y'all see that lens flare heading into Kakariko? Is it so early that you don't even get the Kakariko music? If it is that fine tuned that like the music only plays from a certain point to a certain point, that is an amazing little feature. Yeah, because as soon as I walked in, that was like right when the, all the skull, uh, you could hear all the skull kids go back into the ground. Oh, that's a really good effect if that's a thing. My God, I love finding the, like, it's the little subtle things like that in a video game that just make it so amazing. Yep, and then, yeah, that's like the morning noise. Oh, wow, that is so nice being able to go into Kakariko even just for a little bit when it's, it's still light outside, but you got quiet about it. Ooh, that was a nice effect. I really like that. God, I just can't get over it. It's, it's the little things about any video game that really make it for me, at least. Especially, like, when I'm going into it in this mindset. Especially that I am for this game. Or really any game where it's just like, okay, what are the littlest things about this that I can enjoy? You end up finding so many more little details that the, uh, the developers put in to make the game a little bit more special and just feel more fleshed out. It is just... Oh, it's so... Just chef's kiss that shit. Metaphorically, of course. Do not kiss the shit. Alright, I got a little ditty for you, Darunia. Oh, he hearing it. He feeling... Oh! Yo! <laughs> that, a that camera tilt? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's fun. I like that. Wow, he's going ham. They'd be like smooth. What? Can you teach me how to Dougie? Still heading back with those early 2010 references. Come on, come on, come on. Ha! What a hot beat. Woo! Ric Flair drip. Yahoo! Hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something, ooh, wow. Something, uh, I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of the fire, do you? The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm going to give it to you. That, I'm not gonna give it to you that easily, young man. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyways. If you wear this, even a little fellow like you can pick up a bomb flower. And we get that drip. I'm sure... Let's go light up all those torches since we know that's going to be a thing. Or I knew I knew that was a thing in some context. Like, if you see unlit torches in Zelda games, chances are you got to light them. That's one. Hopefully, get that one and that one. Cool. So that's, that's a spinning. So is Link. That's kind of fun. Okay, and that activates that. So that means I should be able to go ahead and get inside the shop. Might as well see what they have. Speak. So it's got... It's got bombs. Some fancy new duds. A bunch of things that we don't really need. How much is that potion, though? Recovery heart. Red potion. Recover your life energy. Uh, we have two doses of long on milk, and we only have four hearts to begin with. I'm not too worried about it. I think you gotta throw bombs in this here spinning pot, though. So we're gonna give that a shot. Oh! Oh, oh, yes, let's go ahead and since we're here, oh no, I have, I don't need to light it with a, what's it called? So I could have got that shop earlier, actually. Whatever, that's fine. But now I can go ahead and just grab that, throw that, oh, throw it, throw it, throw it. There we go. Boom shakalaka. That's going to bother me if that's stuck there. All right. Like, God knows how many times you actually use this in the course of the playthrough, but I, I know I can't be having that. I'm sure you have to go up higher than this, but maybe not. 
I don't think you do, actually. Time is a little bit limited, and I'm sure these are not the ones you're supposed to use, but we're going to give it a shot nonetheless. I can't get oh, I did throw it. Oh, <laughs> got me with a very, like, last little frame of hit. Let's try to go up to the top to take care of that. What's here, though? Oh, it's <laughs> it's another bombable wall. Well, we'll give that a second. Sprout, you flower. Be beautiful again. Okay, is this just like a... Okay, another wall. Some Something juicy's got to be hidden back here if they're going to this much security efforts. Bank shot. Oh, buddy. Four? Really? All right, that should be it, right? Yeah. Oh, you a big motherfucker. I'm working on something really cool right now, but I think it's going to take a while. <laughs> if you can wait five or six years, it should be ready. I know what that's code for. I will see you later, good sir. I mean, if you don't know that the gimmick is... Or not the gimmick of this game. The gimmick, I think, is too harsh of a word. It's too negatively con uh, connotated. But if you don't know that the storyline of the game has you growing up, then it's not out of the question to be like, what the hell do you mean? Or just really think that that's completely worthless. All right, let's see how many attempts this is going to take for me to get this pot in the, or this bomb in the pot. It's going to take me quite a few, I would reckon. I mean, after this, we're going to go straight into Dodongo's cavern, so... Let's might as well try to get all the juicy little secrets while we can. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Kobe! Damn it! Curry! Oh, nope, nope, nope. That's gonna be a no for me, boss. LeBron! Game time! Oh my god. Uh, Mello! I'm gonna run out of basketball players at this point. John Stockton! Pistol Pete Maravich! Oh, that two pistol bang bang. Oh, sweet. We get a piece of the heart. That, a piece of the heart. That was actually kind of worth it. Because now, that means we get our first piece of, piece of the heart container, right? Increased. Awesome. Okay, that was worth it. I don't think I'd be starting on an NBA team, but that's okay. Oakley dokily. Let's go do Dodongo's Cavern then. I think that's the next main thing, right? Ooh, I think I'm going to be recording over an hour this session. I usually don't do that. Ooh. This is a this is a special session of The Legend of Zelda. I don't know how those folks that or like streamers and things. Oh, I didn't even see this back. Oh, this is totally skibbity bop. Nope, nope. Skibbity bop, skibbity bop. Did I Okay, close enough, I guess. Can you Can you do it in style? Go away. Okay, back to my point. Got him. Oh, that was... Are you supposed to do, be here? I have no idea if you're supposed to be here. I wonder if there's like a Skulltula here. I have the sneaking suspicion I'm not supposed to be up here at this point in the playthrough. And that my efforts in jackassery just got me a free piece of the heart. You hear that moo in the background? Them cows. Wait, where are those cows? There's no cow. Oh, there is one cow in what's it called? No, it totally isn't supposed to be. Because don't these little things create lily pads? So I totally bet that you're <laughs> supposed to fly up there as an adult. <laughs> Oopsie, dudes. It's kind of fun to be fun. It's kind of uh, beneficial to be dumb sometimes, I guess. But let's go ahead. Oh. It's not the official title screen yet. We're not we're not quite in the cavern, but God, that music is unnerving, dude. God, it is sending just a little bit of a chill down my spine. Not even joking. Like that's ominous as hell, dude. Listen, it looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step. But yeah, I don't know how, like, those folks who stream for six, seven hours a day do it. 
Like, I, I mean, I'm a very introverted person. I, I know this about me. So I don't know how I could possibly entertain for more than a few hours at a time. I probably can't go up there. No, I have to go around, don't I? Well, I know, I think I saw a bombable wall over there. Oh God, get away from me. What's in here? Should probably, oh, I don't even have the map yet. Okay. Oh, little babies. Look at the little babies. There was like a moment, a pretty cool minute, because at the beginning of what is hopefully going to be ending soon, because, you know, YouTube doesn't want us to say that specific word. Oh, it blows up. I forgot. Um, I got really into one YouTube channel called Clint's Reptiles, where he does like a bunch of, I want to say reviews, but that's not really the right word. A bunch of like information tutorials on whether or not a specific lizard might be the best pet for you. I came about this close to getting a gecko. You can't see my fingers, flippers, if we're staying on brand, but I came real close to getting a gecko. I, I definitely have found lizards to be a little bit cuter as of late. All right, let's just keep keep it going. Sure, she's just supposed to get this switch. It's gonna be fun getting into like a like a normal dungeon, like a real dungeon. It's been a long time since I've done any real dungeon. Uh, we're not we don't have no time for bats. Let's give it up. I do like that the hitbox is pretty forgiving. I thoroughly appreciate that with how much of a trash shot I am. Ooh, uh, lava pits. Ooh, that little boss music, kind of? Uh, God, them things are ugly. It looks like the, um... Oh, I don't know what they're called in the original Star Trek. Uh, those, like, gnarly-looking lizard things that, like... Captain Kirk has to make a bootleg cannon to beat. I forget what they're called, but it kind of looks like that, but with a pot belly. Oh, there's another one over there? Oh, how many how many hits do these guys take? Oh, that one was kind of crouching down real weird. Okay, that doesn't work against them. Okay, that's one gone. God, that music is so intense. I, like, for the rest of the game, it's at a really good volume, but good lord, it's blasting in the headphones right now. All right, got him. And now, yeah, bring me back to the ominous music. That was getting me too on edge, man. Lordy lord. God, that, like, I'm probably gonna say it more than, oh God, you a big boy, ain't you? Aren't you supposed to, like, Go get him. Okay, it seems like it takes like three hits. Oh, they're probably gonna blow up! Because the little babies do too. That's a nice like, it's, that's still like a nice little progression of, what's it called? Of difficulty within like the first real dungeon and the fact that like, in two rooms before it gives you the little babies, um, and it, that kind of teaches you that they blow up. But now, they give you the real big boys that can breathe fire. And a puzzle to go along with it, with, rather than just like a linear path. I like that a lot. That's a good like little effect. Okay, so this is just a major circle to get back to this switch. Is that on the other side? It do be. Okay, cool. That is A-OK. -okay. What's over here? It is some type of bombable wall, but we do have a bomb flower right here, so we might as well check that as well. Boom, boom. It's a stone. I don't really know what these do. It's, okay, it's 9.45 in the evening, apparently. Which is not too far off from what it actually is. Like, you have to have a special mask to be able to talk to those, right? Do they give hints or something like that? I don't, I don't know. That's a nice, uh, the, whatever the hell those enemies are called. That's a nice sound effect that they have. I still really can't get over how freaking cool it was to having the stereo effect in 
my ears during the Lost Woods. That was so freaking cool, dude. Like, just another one of those little things that if I wasn't playing with, like, massive headphones on right now, uh, I probably wouldn't be able to fully experience. All right. My guess is dungeon map, perhaps? Really not too sure. And we get, yeah, we get the dungeon map. Cool beans. That's always appreciated. What's over here? Uh, I'm sure he gives, lets you buy something. What do you give me? I give up. If you let me go, I will sell you a Deku shield. Oh, okay. So I'm sure that like it kind of goes under the assumption that you're probably going to get it burned or something like that. So that's kind of convenient. Hopefully we don't need to use that. Okay. This is like the last major room in this entire game that I remember because it was when I first got glasses. It was during one of my many, many, many playthroughs of this game that never finished. And I think I was about at this point in Dodongo Cavern and I was maybe 11, 12 years old and I had just gotten glasses. And I realized that this is the first time in my entire life that I had been able to actually sit more than three to four feet away from the TV without it being just a blurry mess. And remember just having this sensation of like, oh my God, this is how people see all of the time. Yeah, like this is the last really good memory or really vivid memory I have of this game. Plus, oh, I always thought it was really cool how you have to place it right in the center and that's like a little puzzle in and of itself, but oh yeah, just major, major memories, man, of, of yeah, getting glasses and being able to see properly for the first time in my life, accompanied by Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's really cool. Yeah, and that's the rest of my game knowledge, folks. What's over here? Ooh, something. I'm sure those guys are not static. There's no way. But what I am going to do... Okay, you do have to defeat them with bombs. A little bit further away than I would have liked, but that's okay. So do, does he have to be active and then I bomb him? Whatever, just come at me. Okay, that doesn't do anything like it did in the Wind Waker. Uh, if bombs are going to be the only way to kill this guy, that's going to be real annoying. All right, come on. Okay, there we go. Got it. Oh, good lord. Oh, you're spinning. He's spinning. Okay, that's okay. At least we're able to get the... whatever this chest is now. It's a big chest, so hopefully... I mean, it's either going to be the dungeon item or the compass, right? That's really all it could be. And it's the compass. Okay, perfect. So that's always nice since I do have that rule of 100% clearing a dungeon. Let's go ahead and bring up the map. We haven't looked at that yet. It's only a two floor dungeon. Well, that's nice to know that unless I go upstairs, I have it full cleared. I wonder what's in those side rooms that were, I'm imagining you need bombs for? Maybe skull tellers. So I'll probably go back and get those just, you know, cover all my bases. There's no reason not to be thorough. This ain't no speed run. I think I would have lost by now already. God, I would never. I don't think I would ever speed run this game. Like I've seen, I don't really watch uh, ZFG's full streams. Ooh, I hear a Skeltola. But I do watch the highlights on YouTube, and good God, that seems really anything in this game since it's been out for so long and it is so kind of broken. Okay, there it is. It just seems like it'd be so difficult to be able to do well in it with the amount of technical execution that's needed. You destroyed a gold Skulltella. Okay, I think that means we are at double digits now, actually. Cool. Oakley Dokley. So that means we are on the second floor, so I will keep an eye out for chest. Hey, there's a switch, though. I mean, when you're able to Z-target them... Oh, God! He burned my shield! That mother... I was just saying, ah, I don't think that we'll need an extra shield. Stupid fire bat. Who do I have to kill here? Who do I have to kill here to press that damn switch? Oh, you're the one that's awake. I don't think that's close enough. No, it's not. But that means I can just grab this guy, move him back. 
That's a nice like little feature. Not really a feature, but a nice little kind of twist. Since it probably assumes that you are going to go into the compass room. And it's, oh, and there you need to kill them to be able to progress. But in this room, you don't need to. So it kind of tricks you into doing an unnecessary battle. I already lost one of my shields to you little bastards. I'm not going to do it again. Oh, so with the Goron shield, you can pick up little weeds too? Okay, then. Oh, God, just run. I don't want to have to deal with that bat. It's also really nice not being or not having to worry about loading zones. Listen, you never know what will be around the corner in these narrow paths. You Z targeting, always look in the proper direction. Okay. It is a useful technique, Avi. Thank you. All right. So we get one. Climb it because I'm sure there's something going to be coming for the booty. Okay. There's got to be something. Let me. Let me see target. There we go. Awesome. Let's see if I can I can get this first try. I think I can. Honestly, a lot closer than I thought it would be. If we're being honest. That was that one was way worse. Yeah, it's just like little things like that. Like I know if I play the game a thousand hours, I would have the timing of bombs down to a T, but like Ah, oh, the or I could just get it directly on the ledge and just be better. That's also an option. And we get money that we don't have room for. What's in this other side? Oh, it looks like maybe we need to go up and around. We're going to go on that assumption. Yeah, I really do feel like the older the game is. And I mean, just any large game, regardless of how old it is, is going to have a ridiculously, op not, maybe op not optimized route. But it's going to have so much competition that you really do kind of need to be one of the top dogs or dedicate yourself to it to go really far. I do kind of like how there's like almost spine looking things. Oh, that was just mean. Spine looking things on the roof. Oh, do we have more of those? Yeah, I figured we would have more of those. That's up. Get, get, get up, get up, get up. Oh, God, get, get up, get up. This is... This is the worst timeline. Get out of my way. I'm trying not to die. All right, cool. Lots smaller platforms on this one. All right, come at me. Which ones of you, which one of you is this next? Come on, come on. Hippity hoppity, get off my property. All right, there's one. I mean, I can just wait for you, buddy. Like you gotta get your stamina up. I mean, I get that. Okay, not too bad. Nothing yet that's too... I ca like, I know I don't have to go over here. That's like a... That's kind of cool, though. Like, the the heat causing the smoke to rise, and it's almost like a uh, fog. Ooh, and the lava fountain? I mean, call me cheesy. Call me basic. But I do love me a good lava fountain. There's very few things as badass as a lava fountain. Did I go this way? I don't think I went this way. No, I didn't. Because this is the second one. Oh, it looks like there's two, too. But it looks like... I think I saw something on the left right there. Okay. It's probably... Gotta kind of quick shot this. Alright. Not too bad. Very good job. Like, yeah, what I was saying with the babies earlier. Very good job of introducing a concept and then immediately making it just a little bit harder. And then... Like, I really like the fact that maybe, maybe that having the idea of the quick shot isn't going to be in every dungeon, but like maybe in the first dungeon, an adult, then that's what we're going to have to use it again. So you're going to have to call back a little bit further back. But we found the bomb back and it's made from a Dodongo stomach. I imagine that's pretty leathery. I don't know. Is it like a cow stomach? I wonder if it's a delicacy in some cultures. 